Brendan Bullsworth was an unlikely possibility for a football hero. As a kid, he ate too many chips and too much cheesecake. Let's just say he didn't look very athletic. One day, young Brandon decided to play football for the Arkansas Razorbacks when he grew up. Sounds like this could be another try hard enough and you can make it sports movie, but not so fast. As one local resident put it, Of all people, how does that make any sense? Did you catch that? Of all people, how does that make any sense? Notice the resignation in the man's voice, but more on this later. Brandon turned down a scholarship from another school to attend the University of Arkansas, even though his family had little money and he had no prospects of a scholarship there, athletic or otherwise. He joined the football team as a walk-on, which is defined as an athlete who has not been drafted trying out for a team. The school's only promise was that Brandon would be allowed on the field in uniform for the last game of the season. I should mention here that Brandon had a strong faith in God. Throughout the years, we see his copy of Pilgrim's Progress becoming more and more tattered. Brandon sought God early every morning. He was also willing to do anything legitimate to succeed, including arriving at practice before anyone else and being the last to leave. Now, getting back to the plot, the last game of the season was a turnaround for Brandon, and he started to get the respect he deserved. You are living proof that when you do the right things, good stuff happens, and you have done everything right. Those words would come back to haunt Brandon's older brother, Marty, who was like a dad to him. It turns out Brandon died in an automobile accident, just as he was getting drafted by the Indianapolis Colts. Several times we see Marty at the bleachers of the local high school. An older man generally sat to his left, offering discouragement. Didn't everything turn out for the best, Marty? Think of this guy as the devil with an Arkansas accent. All this tragedy culminated in a crisis of faith for Marty, whose belief in God took some battering. We have the real Marty Bullsworth with us on the line today. Marty, after all these years, why would you say that bad things happen to good people? What we all have to do is, you know, know that we're not in control, that there's a bigger picture that we do not even come close to understanding. There's, there's things that, that we won't know for, you know, till, till we get there and we know. Everyone, you may find your eyes tearing up at the end of the movie, but I promise they will be tears of joy. Our lives are richer for someone like Brandon Bullsworth, who overcame nearly impossible obstacles to fulfill his calling while never compromising his faith in God. Brandon is an example for us all. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.